right everyone, um, <clears throat> welcome back to my channel. Uh, just out doing a bit of um, 3D archery today using a Samic Sage Recave takedown bow again. Uh, normally do have a bow quiver on the side, but that all there where you fasten the bow quiver to, it's cross threaded so I can't get a screw in. So um, we're going to have to pull them out, fill the holes up, and then just uh, re drill the holes, I think, and just put uh, normal screws in, hopefully. But that's a bit thin, so I don't know if it's going to work. But uh, I think you can buy new ones of them, so I'll have a look first, see if you can buy them. If you can, I'll take them out. Well, that one out and just put a new one in, but uh, yeah. But yeah, normally have a bow quiver on the side, but obviously today we can't use it. Yeah, uh, arrows I'm using. Just these ones, uh, just uh, 500 spine. So, and that's a 40 pound uh, test curve on the bow. So, yeah, just going to have a walk around the uh, big course. And obviously you've got an arm guard to uh, stop the strings slapping your arm and um, uh, scraping your arm. Let's go there. And then I use uh, the finger guard. Um, I can't get away with gloves, I've tried gloves. But uh, for some reason I just can't get away with gloves, so yeah, it just goes on your fingers. Like that. And obviously that helps you pull the string back so you don't um, cut into your fingers. So yeah, I got like I said, we're going to do the big cost today, so no quick walk out. It's overcast, so I'm hoping it doesn't rain. But uh, we'll see. But yeah, I'm just going to have to put the arrows in the back of my backpack and then uh, just shoot them like half an hour. So I can find a way out there, uh, get that done. But uh, I think I should be able to put a screw in it and hold them on that way. But uh, I'll start out when I get back home. So yeah, let's get walking around the course. I'm not the best set up for him. Have to do. I don't know if you can see, but uh, there's a D right down there. So uh, we'll have a shot at that one from up the top. Yeah, uh, see what we do. Yeah, not the ideal uh, thing like having the bow quiver button them on. I haven't shot for a while now, so uh, we'll see how we get on. Well, it's a hit anyway, so uh, we'll go down and have a look, see where we fit. Now, as you can see, there's the kill zone, so we're just underneath, outside the kill zone. But still a good shot from all the way up there, still hit it, so that's a good one, get it out. Uh, they are hard to pull out as well sometimes these arrows, because uh, they are dense form these uh, targets. Now, our next shot's going to be this uh, big buffalo, so uh, going to go back up the top up there, up there in the woods and shoot it from there. So yeah, we'll see if we can hit it. A little bit high on that one. Uh, kill zones down there, so yeah, I rode just a little tiny bit high on there, so uh, I'll move on to the next target. Right, we missed uh, this one, and I was just running the ground behind it here. Uh, just underneath its legs that one went, so a bit short. Oh, no, man. And, uh, yeah, we'll get on to the next one. So yeah, that's it. Um, I don't know what it is, some sort of go type thing. But uh, yeah, anyway, we missed that one, so uh, we'll get on to the next one. Got a well pig at this one above. So we'll give this one a go. That's a hit. I think it was out the kill zone, like, but uh, now we're going to have a look. 
Yeah, just not the kill zone again. Just in, uh, top of my shoulder. So, uh, like I say, I haven't shot for a while, so pretty bad shooting at the minute. Yeah, hey, hey, uh, lots of foxglove about in here, like. Uh, quite a uh, couple of nice patches grown. Uh, you can still smell the wild garlic as well, even though it's died back now. Uh, obviously, it's out of season now for wild garlic. But uh, you can see it in the background just dying off and stuff. But, yeah, still getting that nice smell of wild garlic. Absolutely beautiful smell. So, here, yeah, going to uh, walk further down, see what other targets he is, and then um, probably stop for a quick snack and uh, a cup of coffee and more of you. Uh, yeah, like I said, nice walk in the woods, even though if you don't shoot now or you have a bad day shooting, but. Uh, not like being out in the woods, just for a nice walk, so why not have a nice walk in the woods and do a bit of archery at the same time? Uh, just past the time where there's only me here at the minute, there'll probably be people turn up, they normally turn up about 10 o'clock, so I like to get here early when we're doing the filming and stuff, so I don't get anybody's way. But uh, yeah, absolutely beautiful woodland. Brilliant, so yeah, we'll get cracked on. Oh, I want to shoot a bow as well, I don't aim, I use uh, instinctive archery. Like basically I try and calculate where the target is in me head. Pull the arrow back and then my head does the calculation of obviously sometimes I miss, sometimes but, uh, that's how I shoot if I try and aim and think about shots too much. Uh, I normally miss a lot more if I think about the shot and where the arrow needs to be and stuff like that. So when I shoot instinctively, I do shoot a lot better. Uh, same as when I'm doing a uh, shotgun shooting as well on pigeons or whatever. I uh, shoot instinctively because if I try and think about lead or swing through, I'm absolutely crap, I'm nowhere near. So uh, yeah, just uh, instinctive shooting, that's what I do on um, this type of shooting and uh, my shotgun shooting. but. Yeah, absolutely stunning woodland, as you can tell. Yeah, it's proper into full uh, leaf now, like. Uh, obviously, we're in summer, so flies and everything are absolutely attacking me. I should have put some bug cream on or something, but... Um, yeah, man, we'll get through. I don't know if you can just make that out there, but... Uh, there's a nice deer in the background. Well, a stag by looks it. So, we'll have a shoot with that one. Uh, not too bad. Just on the outside of the kill zone again. There's a the kill zone. Just on the outside. So, I'm not bad that one. So, okay, move on to the next one. There you go. Well, we're halfway along the course now. Like I said, obviously I can't film every single target. Because uh, there's a load in here. Nah. Sometimes I'm trying to set the camera up as well because of the way the ground is. It's a nightmare and uh, the video will be way too long. Yeah, I was going to set this picnic table and have a break. Uh, just a cup of coffee and um, some sandwiches, but obviously the legs have rotted off it, so we won't be sitting on that table, so I'm just going to sit over here near the tree, get a quick snack, uh, get a cup of coffee on the go, have that, and then uh, we'll walk around the rest of the woods. But yeah, the flies and midges absolutely do my head in no like. So uh, at least we're on the way back now, and then we go up the big hill that way, and over across the top. Yeah, just brought the uh, alcohol stove. Where are you going? Yeah, sorry. Boil the water on the boat. Just try not to spill any on the ground. Uh, should be alright in here though, because the ground's absolutely soaking wet, so... Yeah, wait for that to boil. I'll just have a quick snack while I'm waiting.
These coffees never ever open up, they're supposed to open. They have uh, score lines across the top, but they never ever open on the score lines. Hey, the fuck? Uh, enjoy me coffee. And then we'll uh, get walking on and do some more targets. Hey, uh, just to stag up there in them trees if you can see it. Lots of inks out here. Don't know if you can see that stag so far I'm in the way, but uh, have a shot to see what happens. Just underneath. Hopefully you can see them. There's uh, three goats, there's one hit up the top there. So I'm not going to try and shoot that one because uh, obviously I can uh, see arrow getting lost in that bit. So we'll try and shoot the first two. So this one's a two shot target. Shoot the close one first. And go for the further one. Both shots. So now we'll go up and have a look. The first shot just on the ring in the um, kill zone. We're not in the inner kill zone. Uh, it can be a nightmare to pull up like. Uh, we're going to have a look at the second one. There you go. On the second one, just down the, uh, inside the kill zone, but not right in the centre. So, uh, good shot, 10 months. Pretty pleased with them. So yeah, uh, not bad shots, um, actually. Uh, not too bad. Like I said, that was pretty close, like, so, um, but yeah, like I say, I haven't shot for a while, so still a bit rough. So yeah, we'll get the arrows, and then uh, we'll walk on to the next one.
Now, on this one, you have to climb up the stairs, standing on the top balcony, shoot the cat first, and then two pheasants. So I'll get the boat there, and then we'll have a shoot. So what you're doing is like a hanger thing here, hang your boat on there like that, and then you pull that up, like a winch. So we'll get up here. Yeah, and this one you shoot the um, cat first. A bit awkward to shoot like the camera up here, but no man. See what we can do. See if we can get the cat. Before falling off the edge. One shot in the cat. Pheasant. Shooting. Right, we'll go back down now and then see where we get. So I've already loaded the bow down. So, hi, pheasant just in the top of the shoulder, uh, not in the kill zone. Not one in the neck, just out the back of the kill zone because it's got a kill zone on the back of that one. I'm going to look at the cat. The cat, there as you can see, just out of the kill zone. So, hi, not bad. Well, yeah, uh, back at the beginning now. Um, here's a load of uh, high banks to climb up with, especially when you're coming back out because you can go right up to the top of the woods and then here's some I climb so I absolutely pretty knackered now but yeah nice way to spend the morning walking around the woods with a bow in your hand uh, like say um, proper bow hunting in, in the UK is illegal so this is the next best thing to proper bow hunting which you don't mind but uh, yeah just have a drink I'm absolutely parched So yeah, enjoyed myself today, like I said, just quick walk about. Uh, had a snack and a coffee in the woods. Uh, but I didn't realise I picked the table and dropped it away, otherwise we'd have been sat at the table, but no man, still enjoyed it. But yeah, uh, it's still overcast, but it's absolutely red hot. So, going to get all my stuff packed away now. Uh, get the bow stripped down, and then uh, get on our way, and uh, walk back across the fields back to the car. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, hope everybody has a nice day today as well, enough. everybody's okay. Well, uh, yeah, um, if you could please like my videos and subscribe, um, really helps my channel grow. If if not, you don't have to, but uh, it just really helps my channel out if uh, you can consider subscribing, please, if you do like these videos. And uh, yeah, thanks for coming along on this one, and um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.